Who's hungry? The deli's open. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Marco's Deli, where we're going to take a look at some sandwich spots. You know, every week we give out the sandwich game of the week on Bet On It, but there's more games that I've looked at that qualified, and I'm going to share those extra ones with you here each week uh, on this video. Uh, let's start things off with the one that we did give out on the show. We gave West Virginia plus the points. Kansas State's in a bad spot. They're traveling uh, for the second week in a row. Uh, Kansas State played in Colorado last week. Uh, big game there, uh, taking on Dion and his son. And they got the win. And now they got to travel all the way to West Virginia for a night game in Morgantown with Kansas on deck. And I know Kansas is a bad team, but that's still a rivalry. They like to pound them. So this is a bad scheduling spot for Kansas State. That would have us looking at West Virginia plus the points. And that's why we gave that one out on Bet On It. Another one uh, that I took a look at was Connecticut minus two. Bad scheduling spot for Wake Forest, uh, who is coming off playing Clemson, a game that they got pounded in. Uh, but what I'm looking at here is how do they get excited to go to Connecticut? Connecticut on the other side of the coin. Uh, this is a big game for them having a uh, power five conference team coming in here. Now, granted, Wake Forest is not one of the marquee teams of the ACC, but the fact that they're coming into Connecticut Stadium, uh, that is a big deal. Also, what makes this the sandwich spot is they are coming off Wake Forest playing Clemson, but next week they take their first big ACC conference road trip. And I'm talking about one of these teams that have to go west. They're going to go play Stanford uh, next week. So this is a bad scheduling spot for them. Uh, take a look at Con or Connecticut minus two. Next one is we're going to take a look at Kentucky. Now here is uh, two teams that are coming off of uh, different types of performances, both of them uh, coming off of losses. But Florida's coming off a gut-wrenching loss to Tennessee. They had Tennessee on the ropes, ended up losing that one by just six points as a big double-digit dog. I always tell you, these teams that come off those double-digit dog games where they played their guts out and almost pulled the upset generally are flat the next week. Um, add in that Tennessee um, – excuse me, Florida in that Tennessee game also lost their starting quarterback, Graham Mertz, uh, makes things even more difficult for them this week. And oh, by the way, granted, they have a bye week next week, but after their bye week, Florida plays Georgia. Talk about a sandwich. Tennessee last week, Georgia the next game. It's a good spot for Kentucky, lay the points. And before I get to the rest of the sandwich games, uh, you made it this far to the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you like what you're seeing here with these videos, that thumbs up really helps out the channel. And guys, go to the comment section. Tell me what you like about the show, what you'd like to see me add to it, or tell me who you like uh, on the card this week. Uh, talk about the games we talked about here. If you agree or disagree, I appreciate hearing you guys' uh, comments, and I appreciate you guys stopping by to watch the video. And if you want to jump on board for a package with me, we are still running that long-term offer where you can pick up the rest of 2024 for just $595. That includes every sport, every play I release. Guys, everything is going to be going here over the next couple months. we got the baseball playoffs and World Series still uh, running. We're going to have NBA starting uh, in a week. And also, don't forget, hockey's underway. Um, we've released our first two hockey plays of the season the other night, 2-0. and uh, It's been a great run and all of those 5% plays. Remember, the 5% plays on a 13-2 and run since February and a perfect 5-0 and this football season. And looks like we'll be having play number six this weekend in football with that 5%. All right, enough about that. Uh, you know where to find me over at Wager Talk. You can go to WT uh, Buzz backslash MD. And that'll take you right to my homepage. All right, let's take a look at Ball State. Oh, big number for Ball State, 25 and a half. 
But Vandy is off of back-to-back upsets of Alabama and Kentucky. That's got to have them feeling fat and sassy pulling off those two upsets as double-digit dogs. And guess who they have on deck next week? That's right, the number one team in the country, Texas. That's a major sandwich spot. If they can stay focused and cover this big number against Ball State, God bless them. There's only one way for me to look at this one. It's Ball State plus the points or pass the game. And guys, remember, I always tell you, not necessarily do you have to play all of these games, but it may save you from betting the other side and save you a loser. And if I save you a loser, that's even better than saving you or giving you a winner. Because if I give you a winner, what happens? You make one unit. If I save you from making a losing bet, I saved you 1.1 unit because of the juice. All right, another big dog that's got a big shot this week is Mississippi State, plus 17. Texas a and is coming off their bye week, but prior to that, they handed Missouri their first loss of the season in blowout fashion, and look at who is on deck. They got a big game with LSU. Yeah, if you've coming off Missouri, who is undefeated, and you got LSU on deck, and in between that, you got Mississippi State, who has been bad this year. Do you think they're really going to be up for this one? Uh, Mississippi State plus the points is the spot there. And the last one, this one would qualify as a trap game. Looking at Auburn, uh, Auburn is coming off of playing Missouri. Uh, and this is one of those plays where they had played Missouri um, and they have Alabama on deck. So looking at Missouri in this one, you know, they're going to be looking ahead to Alabama. Um, I'm sorry. And Auburn had their bye week, had the extra time to prepare. I look for them to hang tough with Missouri. And when I say trap game too, look at the line in this game. Something just doesn't smell right. You've got uh, Missouri, a team that's only got one loss on the season and ranked, and they're only laying four and a half points. Yeah. I think I smell a trap here. Look at Auburn plus the points or a pass. Guys, that's it. Uh, We went a little long today because there were a lot of situations I want to run by you there uh, so that you're ready to make your wagers for this weekend. As always, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And uh, good luck with all of your wagers this week. And again, if you like the show, give us that old thumbs up. We really appreciate your help with the channel. Good luck, guys.